We have two new phones for you this week. The first one is the BlackBerry Q10. Now, if you're a business user, this is gonna be the new BlackBerry your IT department's gonna be giving to you uh, later this year. Now, the Q10 is running the first uh, point one updates running BlackBerry 10.1. And that's nice, but it doesn't matter because all the business people who have been using Blackberries forever are gonna care about is that fancy new keyboard. And the keyboard's actually really cool. It's, uh, they have slightly larger keys, so it's, it's a lot easier to type and send emails to your accountant or something about a meeting, whatever business people do with phones, that's what we're gonna do with the BlackBerry Q10. Yeah, I'm BBMing you the deets right now, bro. All right, check you later. Now, one thing that the hardcore BlackBerry Bold users might miss are these large buttons that are across here on the Bold. Those are gone, out of here. So you're gonna miss some of the customization. But you have BlackBerry 10.1 on there. You don't, you don't really need these buttons anymore anyway, so who cares? So the Q10 is a great upgrade to the BlackBerry Bold, but it probably won't get too many converts over from iPhone or any of those uh, fancy Android rectangles out there. Yeah, <laughs> Apple earnings, money. <laughs> now this is the Samsung Galaxy S4. It's a new Android phone from Samsung and it's a premier device for 2013. It goes on sale later this week for around 200 to $250 depending on the carrier. Now, if you love the Galaxy S3, you'll love everything that Samsung has done with the new version of the phone. It's pretty much better all around. The chips are faster, it has a bigger screen, it's a full five inches. Five inches. It does 1080p video. Uh, the battery's bigger and it lasts longer. Also, it has uh, faster chips inside and somehow the phone is thinner and lighter than the last one. It's lighter than air or balsa wood. Samsung has loaded the phone with a bunch of software that responds to your movements. So when you're browsing web pages, you can flip your hand like this over the screen and the page will scroll. You can also switch between tabs by going from side to side. And uh, if you're listening to music, you can advance tracks back and forth by moving your hand. It also follows your eyes. So when you're staring at the screen and you're reading in the browser and you get to the bottom of the page, it automatically scrolls so that you never have to do anything. You just keep reading. It works like magic most of the time, but it's a little bit limited. The whole moving your hand to scroll pages thing, it only works in the default web browser. It doesn't work in Chrome or Instapaper or the Kindle app or Google Reader, any of the places where real reading happens. Likewise, the trick where you can scroll the pages just by moving your eyes, that only works in the default browser. It doesn't work in any of the other reading apps. So it comes across as a bit of a gimmick. The, the only problem this is solving is, Oh, my thumb is so tired. <laughs> so all that stuff aside, the phone itself is awesome. Uh, it's got a really fast chip inside. It's super power efficient. The screen is big and bright and crisp and beautiful. Everything about it is great and we could totally recommend it, especially if you loved your Galaxy S3 and you can't wait to upgrade.